Saturday's match between Port Adelaide and Hawthorne, a game that could be called the Sean Burgoyne Cup. A star for both clubs, but Dell, what I want to know is, which iteration is better, the mm. Burgoyne at the Hawks or the Power? Well, what a superb player and I love what he's done for his career. So this question isn't about where he played the most football or where he won the most flags. This is about which player would you prefer, prefer the Sean Burgoyne, the eight years at Port or the rest of his career at the Hawks? I'm taking the Port, thanks. 157 games, 171 goals. And this is him starting his career. He only, he's the only time he's been in all Australia was in 2006. The only time he was in, considered the best 22 players in the competition. He's an Indigenous All-Star three times. All of those times it was at Port. He was a Dream Team representative at Port. And he was a showdown medalist at Port. I'm going I'm to take you through a little experience about going inside a football club and playing against someone like Sean Burgum, Burgoyne. We used to speak about him so much when he was at Port. His relationship with Brendan Laid and his ruck work. We knew exactly where the ball was going to go all the time, yet we couldn't stop him. When he was at the Hawks, unfortunately, they had so many good players and they were so rounded that Sean Burgoyne didn't have the same influence on that team as he did at Port. He was superb, he was so hard to play against and all our attention went towards him at Port, not so much at the Hawks. That's the Port side. I want to hear the Hawks side, please. Well, I had to laugh. Look, brilliant player at both clubs. Brilliant. No dispute in that. I had to laugh when you said he was a showdown medalist at Port. He couldn't be a showdown medalist at Hawthorne. So it's so true. I don't so think it's it really true. counts. Um, <laughs> you said it doesn't matter. Premierships, they always matter, mate. Flags do matter. If you had one, you'd know. So he's won three of them at Hawthorne, only one at Port. He became Mr Fix-It at Hawthorne. He could play down back, he'd move on ball when Clarko needed him to, and he could go forward and he won a final when he kicked that goal against the Cats, which was extraordinary. He's also become one of the elder statesmen of the game. We know that he's an incredible leader of the Indigenous community, uh, but all of this has come about due to the maturation of his career and the man himself in his time at Hawthorne under Alistair Clarkson. Ask Silk himself who he considers himself to be. He'll go, Port, who? I am a <laughs> Hawthorne player because that's what's in his blood, my friends. Nick, any rebuttal from you? Um, no. No, well, there's a bit of rubbish in that. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> a few drive Yeah. As well. <laughs> well, it's, it wasn't a question about where he played his best football. Now, some could say because he, which Sean Bergwijn was better, well, so that's exactly well, what I'd the almost was. argue that he couldn't lock down a position at the Hawks. Hence, why they had to keep moving him around. <laughs> he to was so good, they somewhere. used him everywhere. <laughs> well, I know how good he was specifically at Port. He won a flag there. We know he had a great career at the Hawks as well. But I just think if I had to take one, I'm taking the dynamic. You, you were right. You were right. He was all Australian at mm. Port. Right. And, a showdown, how? and a showdown medalist. Uh, he was all Australian captain at Hawthorne. All right, let's just move on to the finalisation of this round. Now, a flag at Port Adelaide, Dell, a big tick. Mm. Statistically better at Port Adelaide. Mm. Probably a medium tick there. Stats don't count for everything. Yes, they do. He's and first-hand experience. I liked you throwing in your experience of yeah. having played against him. However, when you've got three premierships, your top five for games in the league, if he plays on again next year, it could be even more of that. You're a leader of the Indigenous community. And you are the Mr. Fix-It for Clarko. You cannot go past the Chief. Round three to you. Ring that Rubbish. bell, baby. Rubbish. He's such a great player, isn't he? Oh, All right. Let's... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course we're Brilliant player at both clubs. Let's head to a break. Up next, we team with the theme of Indigenous Rounds. Oh, yes, yes, yes.